Hey, look at there. You see him? Well, open your damn eyes then. It's the old-timey down-home country Red State Update podcast and them. Coming to you from a bunker underneath Jockey's Market in no. Murfreesboro, Tennessee. No. And now, here they are, both of them. Know what? That's, it's not Jockey's. Can... Why can't, if we can't get the man to change it, or whoever that is to talk it on it, now or whatever, then I'm just going to say over it every time, just no, you know, just because that's wrong. That no, I like is, that. That's a good idea. So from That's hell, how you should start a, off a podcast. Well, he's saying Contradicting so, your own announcer. Hey, tell me how to get him on the phone, and, and I'll tell him how to say it right. I don't even know how that got recorded in the first place. Well, I don't have the hell. I don't You don't know, know him. Why? And well, I don't know him. Why the hell would I know him? He does talk. He talks on a voice on a computer. How the hell am I gonna know who the hell who that is? Who the hell is that then? I don't know. Did he work over at the damn radio station? Yeah, I might have been here some over college or something. I don't know. Is he one of them that used to play the jazz? Why can't we just say it ourselves? If they, if he's gonna say it wrong every time, I don't want to have to say no. Well, you got wrong. a voice like him. He got a radio no, voice. Oh, his voice is fine. It ain't got nothing to do with how it sounds. It's what he's saying. He ain't real. We ain't. Well, in- how did we get him to fix it when it was Jackie's? Did who got in touch with him? I don't. Am I doing this? When I'm blacked you're, out? You're on drugs or something doing it. That's what I'm about to Listen, say. You don't I remember call, anything. I do call radio stations when I I black out drunk. And they're like, man, thank you. Nobody ever calls us anymore. Why? People are always on Spotify or some shit. I say, hey, why don't you play uh, a fucking uh, hey, Terry Gibbs or some good mouth. music, you stupid son of a bitch. Why are you? And they're like, well, <laughs> okay. This one goes out to Tudlap. Somebody's knocking. I don't like that song, yeah. I call him back up. Say, play it again. Like, well, it's good. It gets lonely out here in the middle of this pasture under a tower. Well, if you search on a, on a friendly basis with, with what do you call the disc jockey on the radio, get one of them to do it. Oh, they ain't got a voice like that. That's that. Is a golden baritone. Well, whatever it is. They don't make voices like that anymore. I don't know who did that. It can sound as pretty as it can be. It don't make a damn difference. If it, if it ain't telling the truth, it's a lie, it's a lie. It don't matter how pretty it sounds. Not in America today, boy. There ain't no such well, thing as a lie, it's a lie. About that. There ain't no, if no. I knew who that man was, I might call him up sober. He got such a good voice. But somebody could get his no, you Somebody had to get him to do the thing, on the thing we're talking on. I, on I, the computer. I, I didn't do it. You had to do it. Uh, I wouldn't know. Maybe a task rabbit or well, either I'm gonna have list, to I ha- don't know. have to say no over him every time, or you get. Maybe I'll start playing it for my DJ buddies next time I get blackout drunk and I call them up. I say, you know who this is? Maybe they all know each other like a weird LinkedIn. I'm gonna tell you right now, and I tell you this one time: don't ever go to anybody drunk and tell them uh, listen to my podcast because nobody wants that. Nobody does. I had a, there's been a couple times, apparently, where I was listening to the DJ on the radio, and on the phone, I was playing our podcast for them. All right. And we were both jerking off. All right, shut your mouth. It gets lonely out in that I pasture. I don't care. I don't want to hear that. They, listen. Already, we just started this, and you're going to talk like they, that. They're like, I just thank you for not listening to Rap Caviar. Why? Right. I thank you so much for calling me up and uh, I, this this son of a bitch was out in the Iowa. Hey. like i just get on a damn computer and just look up apparently here's how i wake up my my drawers down all right just no one wants listen to, hear to this. internet radio stations nobody wants to hear this nobody wants to hear internet radio stations either well there's a reason for that yep what is it your Time mouth, marches on. Your mouth or whatever. I'm sick of it. I don't want to hear it anymore. I'm sick of it, too. i tell you something else I'm sick of. I'm going to get this over with now. i got to do my sponsor at the top. I just want to get the, and say this right now and, and have it over with. Now, currently, I've been told. Jackie's uh, got some legal problems. Well, I've been told I shouldn't talk about this. 
But that did not come from my lawyer. Had I heard that from my lawyer. But Who's I, your lawyer now? Panky Styron. You know damn well who my lawyer is. He's in the hospital. We don't know. How is he from. doing? I couldn't get Zippy. His brother Zippy. I couldn't get him on the phone. Should we start at the beginning? No, I don't. I want to tell. What is the beginning? Uh, hell if I know. I this is episode no, 256, folks. No idea. Well, my lawyer is currently incapacitated, however you want to say it, legal words. And I don't know what this is. It's either a, it's a, it's a, what do you call it, cease and desist or something like, or they're going to sue me. Oh, I don't know what it is. It could be. Did so, somebody serve you with this, or did they just pull up hey. alongside you when you were standing out on the road? Well, that's when I got yeah. That's in that baloney suit and just tell it to you. Yeah. Well, they didn't tell it to me. No, they handed me a piece of paper. Where's that paper now? It's over here somewhere. I read it over and over again. I can't make heads or tails except the legal part of it, and it says just, you can't do what you're doing. Yeah. She said. I don't know lawyer talk, and that's what you everybody needs a lawyer for. When you can't, it just says I can't be in this. Basically, we're saying this baloney suit that I'm doing to promote yep, yep. my sponsor, which is. I'm reading over his shoulder, folks, right here. It's baloney suit, cease yep. and desist. Yeah, a couple of the notary seals. This, that's what makes it legal. with that stuff on it right there. When somebody puts that stamp and uh, stuff you on, you can't it. be in this Jackie. Folks. But why is my name on it? That's the point. I'm working for somebody, and that's my job. I don't know. It's prison, Jackie Brawls. No, uh, several years. Uh, uh, Itch fines. You and I got. No, I'm an employee. I was told. Looks like you're on the hook, though. But my, no, it shouldn't. That's you're the point. You're on the hook. I didn't go out it there. It says it. You're on the hook. I'm yeah. reading it. I don't care what it says. They can have me. Since Jackie brought your name in calligraphy, and underneath that it says you're on the hook. I can defend myself, and I'm going to. I, There's emoji on here? What is it? Emoji? Well, I told you it's court document, whatever. That's a, a good or something like Ray that. Stevens song. What I is? told you emoji. I told you what? I told you emoji. Uh, it'd be funny him doing a lawyer song. I agree with that. But I, has he ever done a lawyer song? I don't know. If let it, me tell you something. What I did earlier this week. I don't want to derail this story no. right when we're uh, really confusing new listeners. But I remembered the great, great Ray Stevens song "Cool Down Willard," uh. which is I don't. Maybe you're a, a, a liberal. And you don't like the new direction Ray Stevens took where he stopped singing about Shriners and he started singing about uh, putting Obama in jail. He did a lot of songs on YouTube like that, yeah. <laughs> Some of them are funny. Some of them are funny. Some of them are funny, yeah. Clinky, just a lot of sound effects are like cl Obama clinking a tin cup against uh, prison bars. Some of the videos Get me old. out of here. Some of those videos, you could, I couldn't tell at first that it was supposed to be Obama, and it just looked like Ray Stevens putting black people in jail over and again. Yeah. And that, that, that's what... Not I, not funny. That wasn't funny when no, I thought it was like that. we're not saying that's funny. It's not. It was when I found that, oh, that's Obama, then it, then it was funny. Huh. When you put it like that, it doesn't sound like that should be funny either. Uh-huh. Anyway, I had to go back and listen to the Ray Stevens great song... Uh, cool Down Willard. I don't know if that was ever a uh, fucking single, a Ray hey, Stevens single mouth. or not. But it should be. I don't know if it's on that uh, uh, multi-disc compilation overview, the history of comedy music he put out um, with several of his own songs on there. I don't know if it's on that or not, but Cool Down Willard is a great... It's like, Cool down, Willard. Cool down. You're just too hot for the farm. It's because his wife and his mama get up every morning and they watch uh, damn Willard Scott and they get all hot and wet. Why? And he's telling the, the uh, author of this song, this is God's honest truth, is telling them, I'm not doing it justice singing it. It's It's got a hook. They're saying, Willard Scott, please, you're making my wife and uh, Granny, too horny for All the right. mornings. All right. The he, grandmother, listen. He you wouldn't say tell, it that way. Ray Stevens had a way of saying things. The word horny is not in the song. I know that. That's what I'm saying. Why can't you not? 
But he got like the grandmother going down to like uh, Fredericks of Hollywood or something, but getting lingerie in it. I mean, in the song, he actually goes uh, something like, "Granny, what have you got on?" Mm. That always has a weird. I don't know how familiar y'all are with Ray well, Stevens. Ray Stevens, all he's all about taking your clothes off or what? putting them on. One <laughs> of the one of the two. And then he says it in a weird way, where the second word of like a four letter sentence is is stressed. For a weird reason, like, it's, what are you doing? It's it's funny. Where have you been? Yeah. I don't know why that always happens. Somebody's naked or in some fancy drawers or, or got a squirrel on their nuts. Squirrel loose. Yeah. Or up in them or whatever. Right. I don't know what, it's the implication he's just scratching their nuts why? or their vagina. All right. Or is he trying to climb up their butt Ray hole? Stevens didn't say any of that in no. any of well, his no, songs. I'm, this is sort of like a scholarly. Just, and that's a reason that he is successful as he as he was because he knew you didn't you didn't have to say language like that. No, I'm just to trying. To write a funny song. I'm coming at it as if I were a professor teaching a Ray Stevens course at Motlow State Community College. Right. So... Clip of the week. You can't find it on Spotify, folks. Why is it If you want to listen to Cool Down Willard, you either got to call up a DJ in Iowa and possibly masturbate with him. All right. Enough. Or you got to get on YouTube, which is you probably that should be number one. And then the, the, uh, the DJ. Because it's, it's on YouTube. It's pretty good. Cool Down Willard. Cool down. You're just too hot for the farm. You sound like him right there. Thanks. When you it took me, it took me voice. a couple tries. You, when you're not with bad language and you sing it like that, you sound like him. That's so, what, speaking of Ray Stevens songs, you're getting sued by the baloney all lawyer? All right. It's not baloney lawyer. Hey, look, look. It's, it's, it's a sue. It's got legal stuff all over it, so I know that. It's signed. It's by the... It's famous cabbage and the Christian vegetables. You remember oh, them? Oh, they're suing you because you're dressed up like a baloney. You flip flop the baloney. You have a little saying? I have. Is it legal for up. you to flip me up? Well, that's what I I don't know. Now, I don't. My lawyer is currently like a man. He's in the hospital at the moment, and I don't know. Jackie's lawyer, by the way, is also screwing him out of this store. Oh, shut your mouth. You don't know the first thing Pinky about Pinky Piglet Styron sounds like Piglet from Mickey the Pooh. You don't. He does sound like. Uh, that's true. That's one thing come out of your mouth. true. He sounds just like he Mickey had, the Pooh. Something happened to him. He had a mysterious accident. Now, Jackie's banned from the store because he was up there flipping baloney, but his wrist wasn't supple enough to, to do it like cocktail baloney, right. like Tom Cruise cocktail. Oh. So he got. They fi- tried to fire him, and Jackie just. It wouldn't take a hint. Well, I was in the hospital for for a week. I brought my gullet trying to do that uh, with baloney. I and was now, on sick leave. You can't come. You after you have to wait so long after you've been out of the hospital for you can come in and, and make food or baloney or work a cash register. Pinky Pillet Styron. Jackie got left this store by Jockey, who he hates. He resents anyone who tries to help him. I don't. It's not jockeys anymore. You don't need to say it. Just don't say the word anymore. It's done. And he had a lawyer, Pinky Piglet Styron, who is is uh, screwing him out of the store. No. Pinky Piglet Styron. The sign out front says Pinky Piglet Styron. Now it says cocktail baloney because he opened up a restaurant where they have uh, girls flipping and flopping baloney like the movie Tom Cruise Cocktail. And they have local impersonator Tom Cruise Kenny. Tom Cruise Kenny looked just like Tom Cruise before he got the teeth fixed. Like an old Tom Cruise teeth, but in old, old Tom Cruise teeth in uh, Tom Cruise, it's old now. Is it? So he's running the show now, and he made Jackie g- still banned from the store. Pinky Piglet Styron's brother. That's told official. Jenny, he's stepping in. He can't make those sort of decisions. What's we, his name? Tom Cruise Kenny. Who mean what's his no, name? No, uh, Pinky Piglet Styron's brother. Zippy. Zippy, he, he don't have nothing to do with the store. I called him to find out how Pinky's doing. But he also told you you were banned. Well, he said he was passing it on from the, he just mentioned the Pinky. From the know, great beyond. Well, not he ain't dead. He's just 
up, he ain't up and around, but when he is up and around, there's one of few things that he said, and it got to me. Get, keep Jackie the hell out of my store. Well, it has to do with, how, of course, it's on his mind. He's in the hospital. I was just in the hospital. Then he's in the hospital. It makes him think that. Don't go in the store. But so I, the man who just got out of the hospital, instead of sending him out in 100-degree Tennessee summer humidity. It's hot. In a baloney suit. You singing that, get it. Have him flipping and... F- what is that noise? There's water. It's, it's hot. If you go out there in a baloney suit, stand on the side of the road, you're gonna, you well, need you to hydrate, they said. Drink a giant plastic container of ice water on a podcast. Yeah. The hell I do. <laughs> well, I'm, it's hot. He's an old man. He's sweated through... Why are you still wearing the baloney suit if it's illegal for you to do so? Well, something? I'm here now. Now... Tom Cruise Kenny said this is a bunch of bull, but I don't know how much he knows to do with legal things. He's not a lawyer. He's a Tom Cruise impersonator. He's impersonator now. And he sometimes runs a baloney restaurant. Now, when you impersonate or whatever entertainment, you do understand contracts and sign stuff, and that's sure. what he's trying to say. And that's, that's how what they get you. This here says famous cabbage in the crisp vegetables. There's a new character they got coming on. And they're saying that basically what they're saying is I'm ripping them off and I ain't got nothing to do with it. I put on a suit because they told me to go out and promote the, you know, baloney. And I go on the side of the road and everybody laugh at me, tell you jokes. I say, flip me up in the air and then I come down and hunk a big wear baloney's in town. And that's, that's oh, me. but that sounds like nowhere in there did you say, what was that again? Say it one more time. Flip me up in the air and then I come down and hunk a big wear baloney's in town. But that's you don't say me. cocktail baloney or nope. pinky piglet styron? Nope. Neither does this piece of paper. All it says is their baloney is they got a new character coming on because I first off, when I first saw Christian vegetables, well, hell, b- baloney ain't a vegetable. It ain't any kind of vegetable, and that's I know that's I know that much. I went to school, but they said that on. Did head, you learn that in school? I didn't necessarily learn it in school. You know, you learn it maybe in kindergarten right back somewhere. behind the barn is where you learn oh, that. Oh, shut your mouth! So I know for a fact that blown ain't vegetables. What I'm saying, it, but they said here they got a new character coming on, Joshua Baloney. And they said, I'm ripping that off. Or I, and I, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah, there's no reason for them to hand me this piece of paper, first off, because I'm working a job. He pays me to go out there and do that. But you ain't got no signs that say cocktail baloney. Basically, you just a man in a, a flip-flop, the baloney. Well, a yeah. baloney man out on the side of the but road. But everybody's driving up. Everybody knows this is cocktail baloney. Everybody knows it's popular. People like to see these women do like, Tom Crowe said, maybe flip a yeah. flop Coyote a Ugly. What is it? Also a little bit like Coyote Ugly. Ugly? Why? There's another movie. That's not complicated. Well, look, I don't know if this is right or wrong or what the hell it is. What lawyer handed you that? I don't know if he was a lawyer. It says... I work, he said he worked for Purple Hedgeman, is what he said. Oh, Purple Hedgeman, that's formerly the lawyer of Jackie Passholder. But it wasn't him who handed it to me. He said, this is... Oh, who handed it to you? I don't know, some man in the car. Just pulled that and, and you know, I thought, he, you know, some Did people... Did he say he was Purple Hedgeman's associate? He said, this is from Purple Hedgeman. Read it up, sucker. And he uh, gave me this and get on out of the way. And I don't know the first thing about it. Don't know what it means. So you need to get in touch with my lawyer. He is now in the hospital incapacitated. So for the time being, I don't know what to do about this sheet of paper. I don't think it matters at all. You need to talk to Tom Cruise Kenny. It was his idea for me to dress up like this. So go talk to him. You got the wrong name on this. And I like Famous Cabbage. I, I know that's the Famous last Cabbage is a celebrity, and you don't want to mess. You don't want to mess with. Since we last talked about Famous Cabbage and the Christian Vegetables on this uh, podcast program, they they are, are they're just a they're just a part of everyone's life. Yeah, I mean, you can't go to a store without seeing adults wearing Famous Cabbage and Christian Vegetables. I won't make it clear. I'm paraphernalia. On, I'm on their side. I, I don't want to be in a, a blown suit out by the road. So if, if you was coming up with this idea, I sure didn't know about it, and I doubt Tom Cruise can knew about it either. 
But go up there and tell him, and if he ta- if I got to get out of this baloney suit, I got to get out of the baloney suit. So, like I said, if you need me to come to court, whatever you need me to do, I'll do it. But you, you're mad at the wrong person. It ain't me. You talk to Tom Crow's Kenny. It says here on Christian Vegetable Deadline uh. that they're introducing that. on uh, Famous Cabbage and the Christian Vegetables is upcoming season. They got a storyline. This explains it. Where Joshua Baloney, like the other vegetables, they say, well, Baloney ain't a vegetable. And Baloney says, I, I'm on my knees praying to Jesus for forgiveness. They said, well, he... You know, he's a vegetable if Jesus says he's a vegetable. he's That's good enough for me. Come on in. And they let a baloney, because a baloney turns from his life, his baloney life, and comes on over to the Christian way of things. Well, whatever it is, I, I'm all power to him. I like, you know, it's good message to get out there, and you welcome to baloney. I didn't know the first thing about it. You you sent the paper. You tell Purple Hedgeman if you listen to this, or, you know, you sent the paper to the wrong person. You send it to Tom Crow's Kenny. He's upstairs, works at Cocktail Bologna. He's not the one flipping. He get you. You get your picture with him. The lady is back there flip a Bologna every which way. But that's who you want to talk to right there. So looks like Jackie's going to be either going to prison or no, paying a hefty fine. I'm not going to do either one of those. What did I just say? You didn't hear what I said. Uh, you go stand up in court in your stupid baloney suit, no, I ain't sweating through your shirt, no. half on, half off, old man sweat, pitiful. I don't know how you're surviving out in that heat. Because hey, I'm drinking lots of water. Oh, don't. You can't just have ice water on a damn, in that big igloo thermos. <sighs> I'm burning up out there. I drink. So, folks, if the weather doesn't get Jackie, sounds like the lawyers will. That, Purple Hedgeman. No, they'll take Tom and who, Kenny his for mysterious the... car driving henchman, just tossing subpoenas at a at a sweaty old man in a baloney suit. Flip flop the baloney. That's too bad that we're gonna have to. If you can't be flip flop, you're gonna have no associate. This to me sounds like Purple Hedgeman and damn Pinky Piglet Styron been colluding a little bit because if they get you out of the baloney game uh, the baloney suit game it sounds to me like you that, have no place and you have been 100 percent screwed out of your store what are you talking about well I, like okay sound this sounds to me like pinky logic if you have to do this and stay this far away and then he lets you do this and you can't come in the store because you got to stay away this long because of a sick leave. Yeah. Also, but you got to stay connected to the store, so maybe you go over here and do a baloney suit. But then if you're barred from doing that baloney suit, what connection do you have to this store? Well, I... I... What? Well... I'm waiting. You know, I am supposed to be down... I'm waiting too, man. I'm waiting on a, a hot baloney sandwich. Why? From upstairs, I should go get it. I don't know. Everybody's waiting on something. Well, I have faith. Why don't you wait in one hand and shit in the other? All right. Just shut your mouth. You don't know the first thing about it. You don't know law, your stuff. You don't know anything about it. Uh, Piglet Panky Stein, he's going to take care of this as soon as he gets well. If we got it all planned out. This store will come right back to me. It ain't mm-hmm. jockeys. Hadn't been jockeys for years and years. So Let me give you an out here, Jackie. Uh, as a proud owner of Jackie's Market, what? let me offer you one more chance. Oh, you're not still talking about that. Man. I That's can give you. I'll get the paperwork drawn up by one of the few lawyers left that hasn't tried to screw us. I'll hand it right back over to you. All you have to do is come on over, take Jackie's Market or a, a pretty close damn copy of it, Take it back over. We'll get right back where we used to be. Everything will be now, I fine know, and dandy. I can't do that for legal reasons. I'm here waiting on this one. I get more. I get new legal papers every week. Now it's got to do with baloney suit. But the ones I know about, I got to say, sit tight and be patient. And when Pinky gets well and gets up and comes back, we're going to all this, you know, you I'll be the one that runs a baloney cocktail or whatever it is. 
Well, why don't you wait in one blowny suit and shit in the other and see which yeah, one fills up? Shut your mouth. That's what I should have said the first don't time. Know the first thing about it. Don't know anything about it. Run your mouth on it. And I'm going to take that as a no, Jackie. Fine. I, it's not, I can't I appreciate the gesture. That's nice. I, I I have a store eventually. I can't go take that store. I got that a store, store too. I got a store called Jackie's Market. Now, I don't believe she let you just give it to you. Like and that. if that, you want to come down to a good old country, sit on the da- We put some rocking chairs on the front porch. Uh, if you want to feel like you at damn Cracker Barrel. But without the food poisoning, allegedly, come on down. Without the hepatitis, come on. Allegedly, those are old stories. Without the discrimination, that's from the past. Come on down to Jackie's Market. Oh. Jackie's Market. That's synonymous with sitting on a damn front porch of Whitland and playing checkers. That's Cracker Barrel, too. You do it, Cracker Barrel. Yeah. Sitting, getting one of them dust covered zero bars. They got them at Cracker Barrel. Well, I, I know of, huh? It's synonymous with a slower way of life. Slow down, take a load off, relax, look around, appreciate what you got. And it's the kind of story you think Jackie's is, you going to run like that, right? You, you Smell drink, the honeysuckle. You'll drink yourself out of out of cold bear in two weeks. You won't be able to, uh-uh. You don't know I how to don't first been, thing about running a store. I know that, I know three things. I ain't got to pay for them beers. The beer man comes every week. It just fills up the cooler. He gives me a little ticket. I say, am I supposed to pay for this? He says, well, you got an account, don't you? Are you selling your account at the end of the month? And I say, okay. Yeah. Sounds like there's going to be a mysterious fire pretty soon. Wow. But until then, I know two more things. Two, Jackie Brawls is synonymous with old-time country Good old fashioned slow sloppy hand jobs. Hey, you shut your mouth. Kurt right? is still here. Mr. Globe got sick. You don't want to know what with. No, I don't. I don't want to know anything about any of this. So Sally's back, her sister's around, and her sister's husband comes in on weekends. Just shut your mouth. That's illegal. I ought to be calling somebody on that. Is see, it illegal? I think that's illegal. And yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I, when I said hand jobs, imagine I said it in quotes. What is it? When you think Jackie's Market, think hand jobs in All quotes. Right. I don't want to hear it in or out of and quotes. Three, I don't want to hear it paid. When you think Jackie's Market, think dildo lube. What? Not lube that you want to put on your dick. Do not put right. this lube this, on your I'm dick. I'm not going to sit here and listen to this. This is in like all caps, red with uh, exclamation points at both ends. Don't put this lube on your dick. Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear this. You, or whatever you got. Don't put it on nothing except a dildo. And let it sit. I don't think I said this last week, but you got to let it sit at room temperature. So all right. I don't, no, I don't want to hear any more about this and nobody else does either. Now, you, there better not be no place uh, with my name on it with all this filth in it. Be, you better, because you will get it. You think Famous Cabbage knows how to write one of these. I'll get somebody to stamp something and I'll put oh, a stop yeah, to all it. All the lawyers are trying to screw you. No. Peggy or just, have done screwed you. Hey, sick. He's going to get better. And I, that's the first thing I'm going to see if any of this is for real. I think it's all bull. So you you're not. getting sued by a baloney lawyer for impersonating a baloney. And I'm getting sued for some uh, make-believe lawyer you ain't even got for keeping the name of your store alive and well. Thank you very much. Well, I know what my name on in the store if that's what's in there. I don't want, I, uh-uh. Jackie, everybody loves cold beer and a slower way of life. Just don't. Checkers and Whitland. That's all <laughs> fine. I'm talking about the rest of it. I don't want to hear it. Smelling the honeysuckles? Just shut your mouth. I don't want it. Do you mean the hand job? Just, that's it. Shut it. Listen, let me tell you one more thing about this lube. It sounds like very I don't dangerous. I anything about any of it. And it sounds like a lot of trouble. I don't, Those, just, that's what you say when you've never tried this lube. All right, enough. After you try it, you go, okay, now I see. Worth it. 
It's like uh, eating damn like ramen or, or ribs. Don't want to eat any of it. Shut or your mouth. Crab legs. Anything that's a lot of trouble. This this lube is like ramen, ribs, right. or crab legs. They should put that on the damn bowl it comes in. Shut your mouth. It comes in a bowl. Jackie Broles. Folks, it's Dunlap. It's time for the news. We're doing a second oh, one this week. Good Lord. Second podcast. Because we did one Wednesday night. That's all. That's uh, forgotten. What, I don't even know what did we talk about then. What happened then? I don't know. I don't it was know. so long ago. Hey, we could barely it right down on a thing or a computer. Have you got it over there? What the hell happened today? What a nightmare. Oh, yeah. So this is the part where we get real mad at Donald Trump. I don't know. Do I just uh, I get mad because he's in uh, him personally. I don't think anything about it. I know that, you know, getting mad at him is like getting mad at a, a dog or, you know, somebody. You, you know. should never get mad at your dog. No, I mean, you get mad at your dog, but you don't, you know, go away and, and abuse it or anything for it. You know, you go, no, it's usually for its own safety. Now, I don't care about. Him concerned if he were to fall down or something, I'd probably laugh. I'll be honest. If things like that happened, if he was like forward, I'd, it'd almost be worth the trade off of what you know. No, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. Just him being as awful as he is. I just no, huh? Nope. No. Nope. What's the trade off? If he fell down every now and then, is what I'm saying. Or something oh, I see. I thought you meant I trading him for Ford. Well, I'd do that too. Yeah, yeah. In a in a heartbeat. In a, in, in a minute, I could. Yeah. Swap them out. So, or you, what you're saying is instead take the clumsiness of Ford. It's probably a mostly manufactured yeah. you know, clumsiness, not an actual clumsiness, but the, the the clumsiness of Ford and give Ford the uh, insult humor of Donald Trump. No, you make it sound like I'm trying to make some sort of Frankenstein or something. I just said if Trump fell down a lot, it might make up for how mad not I am. Hurt himself. Just no, I don't want everybody to get hurt physically. No, that's not, no. I'm not asking for that. No. Just funny, fall into funny way. Yeah, well, Ford never got hurt. He fall, bust his rear end on well, the Well, he ice. was an athlete. Well, yeah, yeah, well, that's true, yeah. One one of those falls may kill, yeah, that's true, that's true. So maybe instead of a fall, maybe if, like, he keeps, uh, stuff keeps getting spilt on him. Well, also, uh, Daddy Bush, remember throwing up on people. <laughs> oh, that mm, I don't think I want to see that. Well. Maybe people throwing up on him. He, that, isn't that something they got on tape or something of him like it? Something close to it? Something close to it. Yeah. Awful, awful man. Folks, welcome to the Red State Update Podcast. This is the part where we do the news. Uh... We're going to do two days of news because we did one of these Wednesday. Here's your bonus, uh, John McCain. Healthcare, they tried to push it through. When we last left, John McCain looked like a, a, a weasel. Yeah. Standing up there giving speeches and then doing the opposite of what he said he was going to do. Implied. Now, now people like him, I guess. Now, some people like some him. Some do. Yeah. A lot of uh, a liberal Facebook is talking about how McCain's getting all the credit when it was uh, Collins and Murkowski, two women, who threw the whole thing. They never did said they waver. Were, they were the only two that had the guts to stand up, a, you know, I a understand crazy, that. crazy man in the White House. They got threats, the Secretary of the Interior, this idiot. You would think, yeah, they got threats, sure, but not from the damn Secretary of Interior. Yeah. Good God almighty. He's threatening Alaska. I, how do you threaten Alaska? Hell, I don't know. What does Sarah Palin think about that? I, I guess don't... she hates. I guess she hates her too. Yeah, probably does. Yeah, pick a side. You got to pick a side on this. You do got to pick a side nowadays. Oh, yeah. You got to pick a side. Yeah, yeah. Somebody tell that to McCain because nobody knows now. Nobody knows what side he what is. He's he's on? he's on the side of ringing every last drop of drama. Listen, I understand 
a feminist argument against giving John McCain credit uh, in his health care battle. But you do have to admit, he, James Brown, caped the fuck out of this. Hey, he don't say it like that. Just your when you thought, oh, well, McCain, he's there putting a th- cape on him. They're helping him off the stage into wherever. I guess McCain would go into an ambulance of some sort. James Brown never had an ambulance waiting for him, did he? Well, I'm sure at some time or another he did, but not oh, yeah, not regular at all. Helping him off, and then John McCain throws that cape off and goes and says, no, dramatically. Yeah. He was, he was hamming it up a little bit. Of course, you, what, what do you got left to lose? And if you know you, you, your days are numbered, which let's be honest, even if it didn't happen. All have, our days are numbered. All of them days are numbered. But, it, but. It, but, yeah, I mean, even without the cancer, he's, you know, at that age, it's looking, you know, you got to. And nobody really talks about him that much outside of like, oh, he's friends with Lindsey Graham. He almost got mad at Trump today. Not really, though. You know, so that's just kind of wishy-washy. Let's be honest. Everybody thought he'd been wishy-washy for a while now. And nobody talks. So you know, you know I'm a, I'll am show everybody I'm a maverick. You wait and see. You know, and he went it's in there. The maverick show. And this was straight out like the, a share variety special. Like but, he. Yeah. It's, I get back. He made everybody mad one day. Made the, all the other people mad the next day. I can do it both. I'll I'll make everybody in this whole country remember me in you know a bad way. Well, people to saying somebody, yeah. people saying, "Oh, why aren't you?" Because he McCain drug himself up out of. A, I'm not saying he deserves more credit than the women, but he drug himself up out of a coma. Right, he came out of a coma. Yeah. Bicycle to Washington, D.C. Gave a speech where he basically said, fuck you to hey, everybody. Hey. And then backed it up the next day. It and then, was, then it was, it was like, whatever Trump says. Yeah. And then he did that a couple more times. Then at the end, he said, fuck Trump. Hey, don't say it in those words, but yeah. It was crazy. Well. It... That was a good show. Well, yeah, that's what you want to give people. No matter what the good. outcome was, you're like, oh, damn. Back and forth, keep you in suspense. All those uh, sick people sitting there in suspense, you know. Now liberals, like him, like he was the John McCain of, of 17 years ago. Well, give him some time. He ain't dead yet. He'll probably find a way to make him mad again for too long. Sure. Just, just, you know, be patient. Whoever you are, whether you want to like him or love him, Whichever side of you on, he'll get to you probably a few more times for you. Definitely going back and forth between the John McCain that liberals like and the John McCain that nobody likes. Yeah. Now I understand people saying these two ladies deserve credit, which they do, but I've been singing their praises since they've been both standing up to old crazy Trump. But and, that's confusing, Jackie, because you want them to repeal Obamacare. Well, it's not the way they trying to do it. That's Great, they lied to me over and over and over again. That's all they did was lie. That we got something better. We got to get rid of this. It's bad. All that, and then everything that they propose is puts twice as many people in the ground. So I don't, you know, that I felt like I've been betrayed and lied I don't to. Don't think they were proposing nothing. Well, they did. That's one thing. They weren't doing anything. Just let's get rid of it all. You know. They're saying we're going to make sure people got insurance. Trust me, I know plenty of people, Republicans, that want to keep an insurance. I can damn tell you that. And, uh, you know, so I felt like I just betrayed. So, But I like anybody that stands up to him in the White House, regardless what it's over. Even if I was for or repeating Obamacare, I'd still give support because I don't like that man. So they were standing up to him. I sang, you know, yeah, you go. So I've been saying that all week. So today, if I said something about McCain, is you know he just got on base. He, you know he just joined the party, so to speak, as you say. It's like, well, good for him. That's gonna make Trump real mad. And if anybody's got a reason to make Trump mad, it's McCain. That's for sure. Regardless how people uh, remember me, it's probably motivated. I'm gonna stick it to Trump as much as anything else. How long I got to live? Well, I gotta get him good before it's all over with. Yeah. He did get him good. Well, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He also got Mitch McConnell. I think he made Mitch McConnell cry. Somebody said Mitch McConnell made a speech, got to crying or something. I can't tell. I, it, it, maybe his eyes moistened up, but he always sounds the same way he talks to me. I don't. Squirtle the turtle. Yep. I'm sure that's on Twitter somewhere. I can't. I'm not going to look it up. 
We can get on there. Yep. Lot of drama. They all week long. This healthcare shit. I, now it's over for a while until they figure out another way to. I, I don't know. Is this the big story? Is this the distraction? I get confused about what's the distraction and what's the real story. It all is to me. Every bit of it. It's all. It's just nonstop nonsense constantly. And none, none of it's good. Like, if you threw at least a couple of things that were good in all this mess, oh, that's good. All that, but nothing. It's all awful. Just one after the other. Paul Ryan quoted that wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. What is it? You know, Gordon Lightfoot. Oh, hippie. Was he listening to hippie music? I would have figured him for more of a fish fan. I tell you what, if one of them Southern, if that's the story is true, one of them uh, uh, Southern senators got called in and talked to Paul Ryan, and he played that song, I'd be, oh, I'd, I'd be just mad at him as I would anybody else. You know, like mess. Gordon Lightfoot. I don't. No, I don't like that kind of music. No. It's a song about a damn boat going down. Or uh, I don't like what it. What about that? Sun down, you better be worried. Come back to get back up mm. there. That's nah. almost country. I mean, I, not, not enough. Nope. What a world. We're in a place now where Kid Rock and Gordon Lightfoot are relevant. That place is Michigan, I guess. Yeah. America is Michigan. God. So, McCain, relevant. Gordon Lightfoot, relevant. Gordon Lightfoot for president, maybe? And he dead? I thought all the hippies were dead. Most he's of Canadian. I don't know. Well, does that make a difference? I, I think know. he's alive and Canadian. Well, hell, I'll take him. If he run, anybody run for president, I'll take him. I'll take even an old hippie. It'd be better than what we got I don't think now. he's as, yeah, maybe he is. So, then here's the other big news. Uh, there's a lot. That's not the other big news. North Korea's shooting fucking missiles hey, off at the dam. watch your mouth, I know. Now, that would be the news. Anybody else a president, we'd all be focused on some serious stuff. Stuff stuff is serious. Now, you could say this is Trump's fault, or you could say it's media. I say it's a little bit of all of that. But, yeah, if they got... Who the fuck is hey, working on North Korea? Not, nobody in Trump administration, I guarantee tell you that. He just took the... Homeland Security guy out and put him in the chief of staff. Yep. That sounds like seems like a bad time for a shakeup. Who are the generals working on this? Uh -huh. Because as far as I know, they're having to deal with Trump's fucking tweets. Hey. About transgender bans. Is anybody working on North Korea? I ain't heard nothing about it. And let me ask you this: When Trump comes out and says we're going in, we're going into North Korea, who among you? A few people, a handful. But a handful of people are going to get behind that. He has wasted his capital. He has wasted his commander-in-chief capital. Oh, yeah. When we have to go into North Korea to get the crazy people out of there or whatever plan they come up with, 75% of the country is going to be like, why the fuck are we listening to him now? Hey, watch him out. That's what happens. When a crazy man who says crazy things and lets crazy people be his friends in the White House is the president. Yeah, these are serious issues and they need to be dealt with seriously. So far, it's been a fun little reality show. Oh, there goes Ryan's Priebus. Here comes uh, the Mooch is coming in and damn Spicer's out and Priebus is gone and uh, Kelly Kelly's coming in. Yeah. Um. I could care less about any of them people. I don't care. I just want him out. So we're all talking about this Scaramucci interview while they're trying to now, shoot what is off that missiles. Man? Who's scared of Scare, Scaramucci? Let us contribute. He's a new, he's Spicer, right? He come in. To the fall of America by reading aloud this uh, uh, Anthony Scaramucci interview with the New Yorker. Yes, he's a new Sean Spicer. He was feuding with Ryan Priebus. Yeah. That that don't <laughs> see that's whole me. that whole thing is gone. This was all the news was about yesterday until McCain basically rose from the dead. 
It was almost like they had a seance. I don't have anywhere to go with that. Right, Priebus. Right, Priebus, who was who got into a humiliating pissing match with uh, someone whose piss probably smells like primo cocaine. All right. He don't like scary, scary Moochie, right? Well, scary Moochie basically uh, got Priebus out, even though Trump probably wanted Priebus out. Like, who gives a fuck? Hey, watch your mouth. Someone wrote us and said, "Hey, why don't you just read some of scare?" So scary Moochie comes in, and he calls up a reporter from the New Yorker. And he wants to know, because the, the reporter for the New Yorker, this is old, because Primus is already gone. The reporter for the New Yorker tweeted that uh, Scaramucci was having dinner with Trump, Melania, Sean Hannity, yeah. and uh, former Fox News executive Bill Shine. It was an interesting group, and it raised some questions, says uh, New Yorker reporter Ryan Lizzo. So, Scaramucci allegedly gets all fucking, hey, I'm not saying he's on cocaine. There was a lot of people saying cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. But this is a, this is the sort, if you were going to write a thing where you call up the New Yorker reporter on cocaine, this is what you would write. They'll all be fired by me, he says. I fired one guy the other day. I have three to four people I'll fire tomorrow. I'll get to the person who leaked that to you. Ryan Priebus, if you want to leak something, he'll be asked to resign very shortly. Ryan Priebus did resign. I think he, now they're saying he resigned, even though Trump tweeted his replacement before, right before yeah, Priebus before resigned. before he had a say in it, it seemed but like But he still said it's one of the great honors of his life. What? He said, I guess being publicly... <laughs> Being humiliated is one of the great. If he's saying that to Trump, what is he saying to the hookers he pays to shit in his mouth? Allegedly. Hey. Hey. I don't know what else to do but go blue. I don't know what else to do but go scatological. I mean, th th that's the country you live in, right? Scaramucci just said, Scaramucci, Jackie, let me read a couple things here. This is the, is he press secretary? What's his name? Is that, is it, is he head of, I don't know if that's his title. Is that what Sarah Huckabee Sanders is, the press secretary? Something like it. I don't yeah. know who's the press secretary. He's in charge of that whole organization. Let me just read a couple of things here. The swamp will not defeat him. See, they fired Ryan Priebus. They, they're draining the swamp. That they hired. You bring, you fill the house up. Uh, you can drain the swamp. You're supposed to drain the swamp, then put people in that, to do the job. You get all rid of them all. You don't put people in the job and then drain, drain them. Yeah, you're filling up the swamp. It's like you... Pogo. Pogo, what? Scaramucci didn't know. Scaramucci was, this is... Oh, this guy's an idiot, too. Scaramucci was particularly incensed by a political report about his financial disclosure form, which he viewed as an illegal act of retaliation by Priebus. Priebus. The reporter said Thursday morning that the document was publicly available and she had obtained it from the Export-Import Bank. Scaramucci didn't know this, and he insisted to me that Priebus had leaked the document and that the act was a felony. I've called the FBI and the Department of Justice, he told me. Are you serious? I asked him. The swamp will not defeat him, he said, breaking into the third person. They're trying to resist me, but it's not going to work. I've done nothing wrong on my financial disclosure, so they're going to have to go fuck themselves. Hey. That's what he said. Scaramucci also told me that unlike other senior officials, he had no interest in media attention, he said to the New Yorker reporter on record. I'm not Steve Bannon. I'm not trying to suck my own cock. Hey. 
Watch it. I don't. I'm not trying to build my own brand off the fucking strength hey. of the president. I'm here to serve the country. Bannon declined to comment. Can I say? I don't think I've gotten to say I'm not trying to suck my own cock on hey. this podcast. Hey. But I do owe uh, the mooch a little bit of gratitude. Wow. Can you imagine how grotesque Steve Bannon trying to suck his own All cock right. would be? Not if he could actually do I it. That's don't. fine. Just no. the folds and the flaps. No. And the Shut your mouth. I'm not going to sit there and listen to this. Exposed orifices. If men could suck their own cock. Hey! None of these people would be in the White House. It'd be President Murkowski. Just, I don't want to. Donald Trump would be folded over himself like a card okay, table. Okay, I don't need to hear all the... Like a damn dollar store lawn chair. The mooch. <laughs> mooch. Every, if men could suck down cocks every just, time... Why do you just... Do you know how much gum sales would go up? Stop. There wouldn't it, would there even be an alt right at this point? Is the power of hate and racism more more powerful than the power of sucking your own cock? Okay, I'm not gonna sit in. We and either say, need to oh, get again. more flexible, uh, have fewer ribs, or longer cocks. That's the only way I see All out right. of this mess. I'm gonna get up, and walk out of here. I'm not gonna. What well, don't tell me? Tell Tony Scaramucci. The I mooch. don't want to tell him nothing. If it's somebody Trump hired, of course I talk like that. Uh, it'll it, next week. It'll be Trump saying that word. He said more or less, just as you know, close to it. If he ain't, ain't say the actual words. So this was big news yesterday. Now it seems like it ain't even that important. I mean, it wasn't important then. He got some stupid, coked up, allegedly asshole in the in the office that says "cock." All right, and of course he did. Who threw the the White House into a tizzy? More chaos, and they fire Priebus. Uh, all the RNC folks are gone. Spicer's gone. Now it's just him and his buddies. I don't know who his buddies are. I don't, I don't either. Know. Yeah, it I don't make any sense. sense. They don't, yeah. <sighs> Joint Chiefs of Staff said they had no intention of changing the policy. There was some discussion, Matt. They were studying the effects of the damn transgender. And uh, Sir Mattis was like, I'm not going to. Look, no, we're not. Some Republicans, there was a bill they were trying to. Not pay for, uh, hold on, I'll pull this damn story up. They didn't want to pay for gender reassignment surgery, and Mattis was like, so, okay, look, we're not getting into this now. I'm not upending this shit. So they go around Mattis, and they go to Trump, and they say, hey, Trump, we, we can, we're not going to pass this bill with all this shit in it and the wall shit if, there's, if we're paying for gender reassignment surgery. The Republican said, and Trump said, I'll go you one better. Here, let me fix it. Ma'am. How about this? What's he doing? Oh, he's going for his phone. You know what? You know what? We're good. Hold on. They're trying to back out of the room. Everything's cool. Why would anybody go? No, hold on. Hold to on. Him to take care of I'm it. fixing his fat fingers hitting a letter. Anything. Fixing this as we speak. Send. Tweet. Whatever it says. So, that's reassuring. Well, the military come out and said, hey, they don't know the first thing about what the hell he's talking about like everybody else, right? Yep. Well, yeah. And then today, he gave a speech to cops after health care failed. He said, you can't have everything. Boy, oh boy, you can't have everything, he said. 
What has he got, though? What's he one? had a lot before he became president. Yeah. He, I think he seemed like he'd do it all right. You know, Who, and he's the wrong person to say you can't have everything because he he kind of had he everything. Did, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't have everything. Like you, like if I was a fucking coal miner, hey, watch and it. and this rich, fat, model screwing son of a bitch was like, well, you can't have everything. I would be getting a pickaxe or whatever they use. And the only thing he all, all the mine tools, a pickaxe and a canary. And the only thing he doesn't have is is your health insurance. That's what he wants. He wants to take it. That's the, all he got. Everything in the world except except that. He he could. Do you remember Silver Spoons? The TV show Silver Spoons. And for children, right? Years Joel. Ago. Well, I don't know if it was Richie. I think we all could enjoy the Richie Rich show, right? It was a Richie Rich show. Yeah. Ricky Schroeder, with little Ricky Schroeder before Lonesome Dove. Oh yeah, yeah. He he was you know, the champ. Remember, cry, just cry his eyes out. Yeah. Was it Joel Gray? Was that his name? Best of the West. Remember that? Oh, this been... is the part of the show where we name old TV shows. Yeah. Trump's a lot like <laughs> Silver Spoons, but he's the president and he's worse and he's racist. Yeah, there wasn't nobody on Silver Spoons. Yeah, misbehave like that, no. Alfonso Ribeiro came over all the time. Yeah. They should have made Trump lay track around his fucking penthouse and drive a train and go, hey, like let his son be the engineer. What's the difference between that and a fire truck? I mean, that's what it does. The difference is he wouldn't be the president doing it. Oh, yeah. Let him buy my uh, fleet of, of of fire trucks. You can't have everything. But I can have one more fire truck. Melania, I'm bored with these fire trucks. I don't know what I... Now I think I'm starting to sound like Bilko a little bit. I'm bored with these fire trucks. Oh, Sergeant Bilko. we always gambling. Oh. My Trump is always transitioning to some other character. He's transitioning. <laughs> Listen, folks, come on. This is your president. He's talking to cops. He's saying, when you arrest, look, giving him the benefit of the doubt. Best case scenario, he was saying, he was jokingly saying to cops, when you arrest murdering gang members, who, who are all from uh, Mexico or Latin America. Yeah. When you arrest them, the murdering ones, best case scenario, bang their fucking head against them. They're like, look, if you, if they really have killed some, look, I think to Trump supporters, what they're hearing is a little Charles Bronson when you're taking them to the jailhouse, don't gun them down in the street. But if they've killed somebody, yes, they are all Mexican but you can bang their head against the police door. What kind of world do we live in where you can't bang a murderer's head against the police door? To most everybody else, has not somehow been brainwashed in the last year and a half by this president. Yeah, that's what he is. Uh, you just hear that he wants to to smack Mexicans against the side of the. That, that, that police don't have to respect the law. When there already seems to be a lot of police not respecting the law. Mm. You hear how high my voice got? I heard it. Outrage. Yep. Folks. The issue is where him and his buddy Sessions, or ex-buddy, would, get, would agree on something like this, I think. It, it doesn't make any sense. He could have Sessions up there like, laughing like a little gnome, like a little mean racist gnome. <laughs> And Take your hand away when you put him in the... And that's basically just he's seen that on Ice-T do it on Law and Order. Yeah. I mean, that's in every movie where they hit their head on the thing. Hey, watch your head there. He probably complained about it every time he saw it, too. Just talk out loud to the TV. I hate it when I do that. And now he's saying do it. Now, some people said the police were laughing at this or something, but, you know. 
It's always, look, I don't want to come down too hard on the Boy Scouts or the police laughing at the police brutality jokes. I, I mean, we should. I don't want to come down on the people coming down on them. I'm just saying, what would you do in that situation? Yes, a lot of people would maybe leave. A lot of people would. But the president is there. That's weird already. You're going to see the president, and the president is Donald Trump. That's even weirder. How do you react when he starts spouting off this nonsense? What you hope when the Boy Scouts' parents are at the fucking jamboree see the president, they're like, well, I'm pretty sure at a Boy Scout jamboree, this is the day that Donald Trump became president. But instead, he's the the Trumpiest he's been in a while. Yeah. Somebody, he's really reverting back to campaign because he's talking about sex. He's he's cussing. He's well, they got him violence. out talking to people. Whoever's doing that's keeping him away from the TV and angry. They got him out. Yeah, we're gonna send him here. Send him there. Whoever will sit around and listen to him. That's gonna dry up pretty soon, I suspect. Outside of just his, you know, campaign. It's like a carnival freak show. It's like a comedy show. It's like a damn. Uh, Everybody's on edge. You're supposed to laugh. Some people like him. So you stand next to people who like are legitimately laughing. And even they're laughing out of discomfort a little bit. Sure, everybody Nobody is, knows how to react. You're at this weird formal thing I- anyway, a jamboree. I don't guess a jamboree is formal. A formal jamboree would be a really awful jamboree. Yeah. No, yeah. But the cops in these pictures... They're all like wearing their dress blues like like Tom Selleck or something. So that seems pretty formal. It's like at a funeral when you start laughing like Mary Tyler Moore. It may, it's like old Billy Bush in that van. He didn't, you know. It's like America's funeral. Everybody's Billy Bush. Yeah. America's Billy Bush. I don't want to defend Billy Bush. I don't want to defend laughing cops or or Hitler Youth Boy Scouts, but... I'm just saying, we're all in a weird place. We definitely need to say, don't cheer when the president right. Right. wants to. Yeah, I agree with that. But as to far, when you, and unless you're in that situation and you got that in front of you, I mean. People don't want to cheer John McCain. I say, let's just take what we can get. We, we, we're we all weasels. Somehow we have let this happen. We are all weasels. Yeah. We're all sitting there dumbstruck, snickering. Yes, we should stand up. We should say, we should be the best Billy Bush. And we should say, Mr. Trump, get off this bus. Risk yeah. losing your job and your whatever. I guess that's a job. I'm just saying, I don't want to defend the weasels who have let the patriarchy and the damn racism and the worst of America flourish because if more weasels stood up, we wouldn't have Donald Trump. But we do because sometimes it takes weasels a long time to stand up. Remember the Warner Brothers cartoon? They, they, just, they, can, they got little bendy spines they can go under and get them chickens. Oh, little, little, little weasels, yeah. I remember them, yeah. Oh, the weasels. I lost it. I almost had it, and then I lost it. All I'm saying is America is, we're all weasels. I I think we're starting to stand up and stop laughing. I don't know. I don't either. I don't know. You know what? I take it back. I don't want to defend anybody. Fuck, fuck them Boy Scouts. Hey, watch him out. Don't say that about it. Just forget it. They don't know that. McCain can suck. His own cock. Hey! That's, that's what the world is. I don't want to turn into that. It's no, no. To... McCain can suck his own cock. What? No! I don't want to hear about it. He, When he was a prisoner, he had a lot of time to practice. I know. So, good news for McCain. Also, that contributes to his longevity. He's been ingesting that. Sweet, sweet McCain juice. Shut your mouth. I'm not going to sit there unless you get yeah, talking about that. Yeah, we're probably oh, no. done. All I right, so it. I went somewhere. That's so all I'm saying is, like, when you see weasels being weasels, I don't know. No, I'm I'm wrong. We got to stop being weasels. It's time to stand up. If, you, if you're in some weird formal event with Donald Trump and he starts saying the stuff he always says, just 
Stand, don't go. Stand up, walk out. Get a lift. Get an Uber. Oh, when you type in your destination on the Uber, say away from Trump. We got to do better. We got to stop cheering when he says lock up his past political opponents. We got to stop laughing. We got we to gotta take a second going into the event and say, okay, I'm going to hear some bad, awful shit. And if I laugh nervously, if I weasel it out, it's going to look bad on TV when they cut to the crowd. I don't want to be seen anywhere with him. Sorry, I don't, why am I always trying to defend the worst people? I don't know. America. I just, I'm, I'm America. And I am, I'm American. And I tell you what, if, if I was in a room with somebody talk that way in front of me, you think I'm going to sit there and take it? Uh, when would you stand up? Huh? When would you stand up? Uh, when it runs his mouth. At the very beginning, or how long would you give him? What if you give him two awful things to say? And on the third one you leave, but it's the second one that made it onto Twitter. And you're standing there going, eh, I don't know. Why wouldn't this man leave, they say? I don't know. I just think he would, He would. first off, I wouldn't want to be there. But if he come in and you some of uh, talking the way he talks, I'd, I'd say, listen here. I got a thing to tell you. Of course, he wouldn't listen. But. See, America, be more like Jackie. He ain't going to listen. Go through one ear right out the other. Ugh. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed the bonus news episode of Red State Update for this week. Remember we say, hey, rates and reviews and all that stuff? We used to do that. Yeah, go with all, I'd see if I can even remember what they are. It's, it's, it's YouTube's, iTunes, uh, what, Yahoo's, and Chachi's? I don't know. I can't remember what, the, what it is, but those things go in there. You're supposed to go on computer and rates and reviews, and that's good, right? Hey, you got a lot of them. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, and a couple of extra ones. Yeah. Good job. It's been a long time. It's hard for me to remember all that now. Sharp as a tack. I don't know first thing about computers either. I'll say that right You now. down here dehydrated. Yeah. You still get that many damn uh, fake social media sites, which is good. Don't get the ice on the microphone. We were almost out of here. Don't drink loud. Uh, it's hot as hell out there. I gotta get this blown on. I gotta get back to work whether I don't care how many legal papers they give me. I, you know, until I see a, a lawyer or a police officer, I reckon I can still do it again. They need to go talk to 
They need to talk to Tom Cruise Kenny, because I don't know the first thing about it. I don't know the first thing about it. If they got that baloney and I don't need to be the baloney, then that's what I want to happen. And I won't do it right, but until then I gotta make a living. And I know for a fact Tom Cruise Kenny is keeping, he can't get to the payroll because right now, but he's keeping the hours and I'm keeping the hours. So, I mean, I gotta make a living. And if all you got to do is get in a big baloney outfit, I don't know what else you're supposed to do. You know what another good Ray Stevens song is? I got a YouTube this song. You remember uh, Blue Cyclone, The Legend of the Blue Cyclone? It's in two parts. Like two songs? Yeah, like damn Marvin Gaye jam. Like Ballad of the Blue Cyclone, part one. And part two. And Ballad of the Blue Cyclone, part two. Do they sound the same or are different songs? Yeah, it's just continued. Oh, so it's just the same song. Had too but, much story for one song. But well, you could put it connected. Easily. And how long would it be, though? Easily. It's six minutes. Well, that's not too long. If you said about 10, 15 minutes, I said, well, yeah, you cut that up in four or five songs. Cause I ain't gonna I'd say maybe song. maybe 10 minutes, maybe. Well, that's, uh, that's pushing it. That's pushing it. Six minutes, there's been some. How long is He Stopped Loving Another Day? How long is that song? It I'd say like that's a, under three. Under three minutes, yeah. You find that once you find out he's dead, you know. Yeah, you it, it get out. There's a reveal, and then you don't stick around. There's no no need for part two. Yeah, there's nothing like it. When do you find out he's dead in that song? If I, he said, "I love you till I die." And then when it, he says he, she's at the funeral, right? Thirteen sixty-three, Something, yeah. This is the part where we misremember song lyrics. Well, it's been a while. It's the greatest country song uh, ever, and I know what it's about, but I don't remember precisely where where. Well, by the, the time they say, it must be at the end of the first verse, right? Because the chorus has, has well, he placed a wreath upon his nose. Well, then you know he's dead, yeah. 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 But, though, what's the, what's the ending line of the first? They say, I like it. Oh, but I wouldn't say no tears, right? What it, 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 I went to see him. I think, is there it, only one verse? And see him just today, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, but I didn't see no tears. Right. That's because he was in the box. All dressed up to go away, and then that's when you're starting to think, wait, in the where's he going? What? He going in the grounds where First he going. time I'd seen him smiling here. And that's because it, you know, doctored him up, yeah. She stopped loving. Hi. Wait, him... He stopped oh, that'd be a good one. Today. She stopped loving him today. Nah, An answer song. Well, well, she still. You could still love somebody when they when they're dead. You don't just quit loving them. I mean, what well, if she did though? That that's the song. That's that's the starting point of this song. So, what would make you stop loving a dead person? I don't know what make me stop. like you find out a secret. Something like that. See, I see some texts. Yeah, something. You know, find old love letters or something. They hey, with somebody else or something like that. Picture him maybe. kill an endangered animal. Maybe. I don't know. Could be anything like that. Find some, something wrong with the history. Yeah. Weird porn. Now, see, that's a part two song that makes sense because then you get another side of the story. Right another there. side of the story. The flip side. Now, the Ray Stevens thing, which I ain't heard, is that what it's like? Or it just keeps, the story just keeps going? Well, kind of, he stopped loving her today. It's a little bit like she came to see him one last time. Yeah. Oh, we all wondered if she would. Yeah. And then, again, <laughs> what happens she, then? She just, yeah, she's at the, you know, she's at the funeral. Say, I'm at the, if I come in, I'd be eating a sausage and biscuit from downstairs. Oh, yeah. He come to see him one last time. Had a sausage and biscuit in his hand. You'd know, you know what was going on right off the bat if you heard that. Yeah. Looked in the coffin and then he said, Look pretty good for a dead man. That almost worked. And then he go, Is that who, is that what's your name over there? It's, he used to go out years ago. I remember her. What's she doing here? Oh, shit, this is awkward. Yeah. Hey, you're kind of the reason he's in there. It's your fault. Broke his heart, yeah. Your fault? Yeah. Oh, wait. Does that mean it's a, does that mean that he stopped loving? No, we're, we're making this worse. 
It's I'm, not an anti-feminist song. No, no. Well, if she, if she, you know, quit loving him, it's because, like you said, she found something where he lied to her or something like that. So he, yeah, maybe it's his fault. It's his fault. It ain't necessarily, yeah. You know, Unless, did she kill him? I don't know. I don't. Does the song imply that? Did she well, run I think you're just something? saying it's a woman's fault that a man is dead. Well, women kill men. It happens. I'm not oh, saying that it's does her happen fault. all it the time. All the like, time. I never thought about it that way. But she didn't. She didn't kill him, right? I mean, he doesn't imply it. He never says anything. They just surprised that she's there. Maybe she killed him by accident. You know, something like that. A lot of people. Okay. He DUI kept her picture on his wall. Yeah. Went half crazy now and then. Well, he missed her, yeah. He still loved her through it all. She must have treated him like dirt right there. See, that implies that right there. Hoping she'd come back again. Didn't do it. Oh. But she come back at the funeral. Well, she came to the funeral, yeah. Or are they that's saying... That's being polite. She come back to kill him. Well, you don't go to someone's funeral to kill him. They ought to be dead. What do you no, mean? No, she come back to kill him and she never got caught. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it was, uh, oh, yeah, okay. It was, they think it, for somebody else did it, or they think it's natural causes or something. She figured out how to poison him just right. Something, right? Remember when we talked to Bobby Braddock on the phone? We did. He's I remember. A good, he's a good man. We I should see. ask him. Well, he wrote the song. Can he we get know. him on the, on our podcast? I don't remember his number. You still have his number? He no, called I us. I don't know. I don't, I don't have any of that stuff. I found that letter Carl Rove sent us. Oh, yeah, uh, he wrote us a long we time We get him ago, on yeah. here and ask him. Carl Rove, who wants to talk to him these days? What's he doing now? I don't, he's on Fox every now and then, probably. What else? What he else said, I love you do? till I die. Yeah. She told him, you'll forget in time. Which he didn't. Or maybe she thought if I'd scare him a little bit, or, you know, if she didn't want to kill him and things got out of hand. As the years went slowly by, yeah. She still preyed upon his mind. Definitely written from the male point of view. Well, it's yeah. Definitely a male was, gazy song. If, I, if he was my friend, I'd be, you know, you'd by the time you'd get over this. You know, if she ran around on him and all that, shouldn't be, she didn't love you in the first place, you know, so. He kept her picture on his wall. I, yeah. Went half crazy now and then. He doesn't sound entitled. He just said he's just a little love struck. Right. He still loved her through it all, hoping she'd come back again. Yeah. Kept some letters by his bed. Dated right. 1962. So that's a long time ago. I never that get that year come out right. in the 80s. I remember it's an 80s song. So 62. Not, about 15 years, 16 years. How many years back? 1981. He had underlined in red. Do y'all like hearing me sing George Jones? The greatest singer of all I time. don't. Just say the words to try and figure out the story. Every single I love you. He under he went through it and then read. When they say red, I guess they mean a pen, but could they mean blood? Good man, you know, and was it, is that all he was underlining? How many I'll kill you was in there too? Is just underlining the I love you. I went to see him just today. Who's this friend of his? I don't know. I, I appreciate the story, but he probably should mind his own business a little bit, but go on. Oh, but I didn't see no tears. Now, this man is dead. Now, let's examine uh, uh, the, the narrator of this tale. Yeah. Who his friend is dead, but he's. Publicly bringing all this up, I guess it's I guess it's known. Yeah, I guess he was yeah, basically a laughing stock. Probably at home drinking himself to death because she left him years ago. And everybody's like, "Oh, where's that? Where's that guy they wrote? He stopped loving her today about? Oh, he's drinking himself to death slowly because yeah. that woman left him. Still, <laughs> that was tr- that's 15, 16 damn years ago. Nineteen sixty-three. Oh, good. Oh, Lord. wait, two, two. Yeah. So this guy, bad friend, went to see him just today, but I, I didn't see no tears. Yeah. All dressed up to go away. In the ground, yeah. First time I'd seen him smile in years. That's a good, that's like the best part of the song. Well, yeah. And because then, they, you, you know, look peaceful. If, if, usually you don't see him smiling in the, Casket, you just look peaceful, calm, you know, but maybe. That's ghoulish, actually, if you think about it. Why would you make him, you know, smile? He's at the wrong funeral home. I guess so. Two funeral homes in town. He went to the one with the damn mad scientist. I guess so. This week, I'm working on smiles. Next week, I'm going to try to make one eye pop open like Jack Elam. 
They do that too, you know, some of them do. You, you know, young funeral people, you know, get to get wild, you know, they, they, you better learn, let me teach you the ropes, you know, and of course, they, you, you know. You can't teach them nothing. They're no. like, my experiments are important. Yeah, yeah. Just, just fix them up, cover up the acne scars, cover up the marks on the wrist. And bullet hole sometimes, yeah. Well, it could be the case here. We don't know. What don't did the know. police cover up? We don't was know. she dating? Was her new lover uh, chief of police? Could have been. He stopped loving her today. They placed a wreath upon his door, and soon they'll carry him away. His coffin door, right? Put a wreath on top of the coffin. Is that what you call it? Is it a door? I guess it is. You open clothes, right? Do they just put it on you? Actually, I never understood that part. Do they oh, just put it on the door of your house when you die? No, it, it only, it, the door of the coffin. Is open that true? It I think. It, why would you stop a funeral and go run and put a <laughs> reef on it? No, I you put the reef right. on. You put the reef on the uh, on coffin. the coffin door. We gotta talk to Bobby Braddock. That's what I'm thinking now, because it don't make any sense. To, but at Christmas time, you put a reef on the door. You don't put a reef on the door. Somebody. Is it, did this happen during Christmas? Well, now, now they, if, they, if that's the case, they should have made it more clear, I think. You People get depressed during Christmas. Yeah, that's Especially true. Especially when your uh, woman left you in 1962. Yeah. And it's 1980. Does this song come out in 1980? Sometime around there, it says, yeah, 80, 81. And then he talks it, spoken, it says, you know, she came to see him one last time. Yeah. Oh, we all wondered if she would. So they sit there waiting for it. Ooh, ooh. I always, when I heard it as a kid and the ooh oohs in the background, I always thought that was the woman he loved singing that. Singing, well, yeah. But I think it was Lori Morgan. Oh, I like her, yeah. And it kept, boy, she went through it with Keith Whitley, didn't she? Yeah, bless her heart. Bless Man, it's like that story's about them, kind of. Uh, she didn't write it, though. She just sang the She just sang the woo-woos. woo-woos I think. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. I think I heard that somewhere. Uh-huh. Yeah. That boy on WSM. Oh, and we all wondered if she would, and it kept running through my mind. This time, he's over her for good. Well, Take dead. it, Jackie! He did. Oh, I thought you were going to sing it. Oh, he stopped loving her. That's pretty good. I placed a rape upon his... Coffin doors. Oh, yeah, yeah, add yeah. dead right in there. At Christmas. And soon they'll carry him. Oh, I... The, the pallbearers. Yeah. Or Christmas elves or what? you know. If well, no, uh, if, it, if it was Christmas. Yeah, well, elves will carry him away. Oh, I... Yeah. Don't you want to... What? Finish, well, finish it up? Oh, did I not? Is that not it? Is there more to it? He stopped loving her today. Oh, it's just that, okay, soon to carry him, okay. Soon they'll carry him away on a sleigh. Carry him to Christmas. He, he stopped, stopped loving, loving her, her today. today.